Dumela Saubona Heita. My name is Lesejo. Hello, my name is Reino. We have the privilege of being involved in Fellowship City, a new church plant in the heart of Centurion in Gauteng. We are here to tell you more about Fellowship City, specifically our vision, our story, why we feel called to plant this church and what's ahead for Fellowship City until we launch public worship gatherings or Sunday services. We are a gospel-centered, disciple-making, transcultural family who wants to see the world awaken to the wonder of God and his transcultural church. Now that's quite a statement and that needs a double click. Gospel-centered means a life that is centered and saturated around the truth of the perfect birth, life, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ, as well as his return. And we affirm him as Lord and Savior. Now that's also a mouthful. It means we are a Jesus church. Disciple making means that as the gospel transforms the individual life of the believer or of a person, we want to see a multiplying effect of that. And we believe that the best way to do that is by making disciples. It's one of our distinctives. And then lastly, transcultural is a view of community that reflects, embraces and enjoys the diversity of its context. And, and this is an important one for us, by the power of the gospel, transcends it and creates one new family or one new community in Christ. We believe that the church is the best place for us to do away with man-made boundaries. And we believe that the gospel can help us move past our man-made cultural boundaries. You might have heard this vision before at either Rooted Fellowship or Renewal Fellowship. Together with Fellowship City, we call ourselves the Fellowship and we share this common vision. And that is also why we all have the word fellowship in our name, uh, just making sure, right, that the identity lands well. I met my wife while I was in Midrand, serving at a church in the area. She too moved to Midrand to work for the church, and that is where we met, got married, and started a family together. We moved to Rooted Fellowship after having encountered racism while serving at the previous church. Despite our experience, we still desire to serve God wholeheartedly within a transcultural Christian community. This resulted in us moving out of the community within Midrand and through the guidance and leadership of God into Rooted Fellowship. We were convicted that even though we went through difficult times that God wanted us to live, serve, and fellowship within a community that reflected the area we are in. He prepared us to see and desire the wonder of God and His transcultural church in Centurion. Through Rooted, we saw the vision of being a gospel-centered, disciple-making, and transcultural church in action through the church and its people. Though being part of Rooted, we had the privilege of serving in the church and in the same city group with Rain and Mari. We got to know each other better and see the same vision they have within us. I've been serving on staff at Pierre van Reinefeld Geloos since 2007 and I became a full-time pastor in 2012. So in the beginning of 2016, my wife Marie and I, after the birth of our first child, Ava, we started praying about what our next season of ministry might entail for us or might hold for us. We felt that a change is coming. Later in that year, which was 2016, we became convinced, convicted and led to be part of the planting of a new church. I didn't know where to start. The only thing that I knew how to do was some rock solid congregational ministry as a pastor. So I rang up a friend of mine. His name is Peter Wessels. He's also part of our core group of our plant. And I said to him, dude, you were part of uh, the planting of Lichpunt. I feel like we want to start uh, planting a church. Where do I start? And the first question he asked me was, well, what kind of church do you want to plant? And I answered him with, I actually don't know, 
but I know that it has something to do with culture. And then he said to me, well, Rooted Fellowship has been planted. One of their distinctives is to be transcultural. I want to link you up with their lead pastor, Pastor One Mokhatle, and let's see where it goes from there. Well, it goes without saying, uh, we struck a deal at the end of 2017 that would allow me to do a church plant residency at Rooted Fellowship for 2018 and 2019 to learn uh, what it entails to plant a church and also to be immersed in a transcultural church. It was two phenomenal years, 2018 and 2019. And as Lesejo said, that's where we met. So Marie and I were allocated to their city group and he and his wife Wondile led the city group. And uh, from the first moment, we became really, really good friends. And as we realized that we carry the same vision in terms of ministry and planting a church, uh, when the time came at the end of last year to put a leadership team together, I literally drove over to their house and I said, guys, I'm here to ask you one question. And they answered me with, we know that you're coming. And our answer is yes. And what I thought was going to be a long conversation of making the sale became a really short and awesome conversation. And the excitement started coming in. We are humbled and we are excited to do this together. So there you have it. Fellowship City is a partnership between Rooted Fellowship and Peer van Reineveld Geloofs family. The Mustard Seed Foundation is also one of our financial partners. We believe in the Great Commission. We believe that Jesus sent his followers or his disciples to go into all nations and make disciples of all people. So planting a church for us is a way to be obedient to the Great Commission. And we also want to plant a church because we believe that the church is a family. We believe that every single person that believes in Jesus Christ, that becomes part of the church, becomes part of a family. And we are of the opinion that at this moment in time, specifically in the context of Centurion, family is the best way to bring people into a community of relationships or to bring people into a place where they can have community and have relationships. And we also believe that that's the best way and place to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with people. And we all have a deep sense of belonging. We need to belong. And that is why a diverse church where anybody is welcome, where we have unity and diversity mm. is what we want. Mm. We live in St. Children and it is quickly diversifying. This means that more and more families like ours and other types of families will be moving into the area. And we would love to plant that church for these families. And lastly, we are of the opinion or we are convicted or convinced or we believe that a transcultural church will be a great addition to the church already in Centurion. Twenty twenty has been an absolute ripper. So here's what happened in twenty twenty, just to, to take the year into review real quick. We put together our core group in the month of January. Very exciting. Summer in Pretoria, shorts, flip-flops and t-shirts. We got together and we said, guys, we are all in. We want to be part of the planting of this church. We had two amazing send out Sundays, one at Rooted Fellowship that was in February and one in March, which was at Pier van Reineveld Geloos Family. The energy was tangible. The unity in the group was phenomenal. And then COVID happened, right? We were hit by the global pandemic COVID-19. And then obviously that meant lockdown in the country of South Africa. Now for the two of us and for the rest of our leaders, the first question was, what on earth do we do now? As most churches did, uh, we moved uh, our whole vibe, all the spaces that we did ministry in and all the spaces that we had, that we had fellowship in, we moved digitally and we stayed connected in various ways. We obviously stayed connected as city groups through this whole time on a weekly basis at least. Um, we stayed connected with one another through doing a baby shower on Zoom, through welcoming new kids into our community over Zoom. Uh, we had the, the odd parcel drop off, sanitized hands and protocols observed. Uh, it was quite a year. But by God's grace, I have to say that the fact that we stayed together and that we stayed connected and not only that, even deepened our relationship with one another is, a, is just a testimony of God's grace and His goodness to us. Now that restrictions have eased, we look forward to connecting with people in the area of Centurion 
and inviting them into community. We look forward to launching our digital presence through our website, the making of these videos, telling stories on our various social platforms. And we look forward to finding a space where we can launch our Sunday worship gatherings at the beginning of 2021. I would like to invite you to check out our website uh, if you would like more information. I would also like to ask you to follow us on the socials. Uh, we need a few follows and subscribes in the beginning since we launched our socials. And I also want to invite you to feel free to connect with us or to contact us or to reach out to us at community at fellowshipcity.co.za. We'll gladly answer you and we'll gladly connect with you. God bless you. Mudimo abeluena, unkulukulu akubusise, umorena akutsunulukfatze.